There is only one more question in this time and we will spend it on. I am Dr. Marcus and today my talk is called Transfer Analysis. Learning of the and the end of the end of the day, my children will be able to explain the academic and the academic. So, I'm going to transfer the whole source from worm, bookworm, and wolfworm, roundworm, or the scarus lumbricoids. Scarus infection is the most common intestinal worm infection. About one Billion people are infected with the scarus lumbricoids. Then it's India, Middle East, Europe, Central and South America, and Indonesia. The infection spread more commonly in villages and rural communities. Epidemiological triad consists of agent, host, and environmental factors. Agent scarus lumbricoid shape is round or cylindrical, tapered at both ends. Color is pink, creamy. Size in males are 15 to 31 cent. Meter in length and two to four millimeter in diameter. In females, 20 to 35 centimeter and three centimeter in length. It is the largest nematode parasitizing the human intestine. Sex is separate. Males are smaller than the female worms. Host. It inhibits the human small intestine and mainly affects the children, particularly between three to eight years of age. Environmental factors are the warm, moist climates, most commonly in the tropical, subtropical areas where sanitation and hygiene are poor, in places where the human feces are used as fertilizers. Its incubation periods average between 4 to 16 days after the ingestion of the eggs. Transmission. Ascaris is transmitted primarily by fecal contamination. The transmission can occur by ingesting contaminated soil, water, or foods such as raw vegetables and fruits. Life cycle. Unfertilized eggs are ingested, which are non-infective, non and the fertilized eggs embryonated and become infected after 18, to 18 days to several weeks, depending on, upon the environmental conditions. Then the larva hatch and invade the intestinal mucosa and carried by the portal circulation and then systemic circulation into the lungs where the lava matured further, about 10 to 14 days, and penetrate the alveolar walls, ascend the bronchial tree to the throat, and are swallowed. Upon reaching the intestine, they develop into the adult worms between two to three months, and the adult worms can live in about one to two years. Its clinical feature, most of the patients often show no symptoms, and in some patients, it may lead to the abdominal discomfort, abdominal blockage, mm -hmm. impaired growth in the children, and cough due to migration of the worms through the body. It may, in, its complications are bladder tract obstruction, intestinal obstruction, and the intestinal perforation. Levels of prevention, which includes the primary, secondary, and tertiary prevention. Primary prevention includes health promotion and the specific protection. Health promotion is all about to teach the children the importance of washing hands to prevent infection, wash, peel, and cook all raw vegetables and fruits, wash hands with soap and warm water, avoid ingesting soil that may be contaminated with human feces. There is no specific protection available till now. In recent advances, we will know, uh, come to know about the recent advances on the vaccination against the scarus lumbricoids in further slides. Secondary prevention, which consists of early diagnosis and the prompt treatment. Diagnosis of the scarus lumbricoids depends on the scarus sex in the stool samples using the microscope examination. Treatment, the drug of choice is albendazole and mamedazole for about one to two, three days. Now the infection hookworm. Hookworm is the most important small intestinal nematodes causing the iron deficiency anemia. Globally, 900 million people infected with this infection. It, it has two types, the nicator and the encylostoma. Soma in, uh, infect about 135 million people all over the world. Hookworm infection is prevalent in the tropical and 
and the subtropical area of southern Africa. Am I, uh, anemia it may to where I an epidemiological triad agent. It is one of the small intestinal nematodes belong to the family and cyclostomati. Two important human species are the Ancylostoma duodenale and the Nicator americanus. Here are the differences between the Ancylostoma duodenale and the Nicator americanus. Ancylostoma duodenale is the large and thick and having the two pairs of claws like teeth on the ventral surfaces. Its anterior end bends in the same direction as the body curvature and the posterior spine presents in the female worm. It serves the vulva behind the middle of the body. While in the Nicata Americans, it is a small and cylindrical and contains one pair of plates on the ventral surfaces. It bends in the opposite direction as the body curvature. There is no posterior spine and the vulva is present in the front or the middle of the body. Host. It is more commonly affected all the males and the young adults. Environment widely distributed in the tropical and the subtropical countries. Life cycle. Life cycle of the uh, hookworm it includes a definitive host, man in the small intestine, and the third worm inhibits the small intestine of the man. Attached to the mucous membrane with the help of the mouth parts, and the eggs, it has an egg which contains a segmented ova with four blastomeres passed out in the faces of the infected person, which is non infective. Clinical features in Silosoma dermatitis, creeping eruptions, bronchiotitis, and bronchopneumonia, iron deficiency anemia of microcytic and hypochromic type. Levels of prevention. Primary prevention includes the health promotion and specific protection. In uh, health promotion, we guide about the personal care, improved personal hygiene, proper disposal of the feces, improved nutrition with dietary iron, and then treatment of the infected persons. Specific protection, no specific protection available till now. Experimental animal vaccines trials are uh, ongoing in using the larval or the adult stage antigen. Human trials try, uh, targeting the ancylostoma secreted proteins are also undergone. Secondary prevention, which includes early diagnosis and prompt treatment. The diagnosis of the hookworm infections includes the two methods, direct and the indirect methods. In the direct method, it includes a stool examination to find out the adult worms or the characteristic hookworm eggs. The stool consideration required to detect the light infections. Lava, if the scene in the uh, stool is kept in temperature about for 24 hours, not preserved. Indirect matter includes a blood examination, which reveals the microcytic hypochromic anemia, eosinophilia, and the stool examination showing the occult blood, circulating crystals, and the stool culture. Treatment. Mibendazole, 100, 100 milligram twice daily for three days, or the albendazole, 400 milligram single dose, parental pomade, 100 milligram per kg for three days, and to treat about the mild iron deficiency in anemia to give oral iron. Severe infections with protein loose malabsorption requires nutritional support and the oral or the parental iron supplementation. Now the third infection, whip mom. The first written record of the TQS Tricura appeared in 1740, when an Italian scientist by the name of the Morgani discovered the residence of the adult Tricurus Tricura worms in the colon of the male men. Problem statement, a very common intestinal worm, structurally weak life, infects about one quarter of the world's population. Only patient with a heavy uh, parasite burden becomes symptomatic. Epidemiological triad. Agent, Tricurus tricuria male worms measures about 30 to 45 millimeters, slightly shorter than the female. The female worm is about 35 to 50 millimeter long. Or oh, children are especially vulnerable because of their high exposure risk. Environmental factors, prevalence of the helminth infection are high, was high in the school where the hygienic conditions, staff water, hand washing are lacking, and found throughout the world within the temperate and the tropical environments, but prefer the moisture of the tropics. Habitat. Tricurus tricuria adult resides in the large intestine, cecum, and the appendix of the host. It buries its thin, thread like anterior half into the intestinal mucosa and feeds on the tissue secretions, not blood. The cecum and the colon are the most commonly infected sites. 
in heavily infected individuals, infection can present in more distal segments of the GIT tract, such as descending colon and rectum. As a why mainly humans, other possible but more specificity not well documented. Transmission is via fecal oral route. In the life cycle of the Tricurus tricura, in which unimpregnated eggs are passed into the feces, which is known in fact stage, and it is used for the diagnostic purposes. Then it undergoes the two cell stage and the advanced cleavage and production of the embryonated eggs, which are ingested by the humans, and it is the infective stage of the egg. The larva hatch in the small intestines and lead to reside the adult swarms in the cecum and furthermore into the colon and up to the rectum. Pathology. The main pathology examines that of the inflammatory bowel disease due to the mechanical disruption and toxicity of the waveforms. The pathological changes include hyperemia, edema, hemorrhage bleeding. In few cases, there are cellular proliferations and thickness of the intestinal wall causing inflammation and granular mass. Clinical features. It depends on the infestation. If the light infestation are there, they may lead to the frequently asymptomatic. And the heavy infestations may cause bleeding, bloody diarrhea, iron deficiency anemia, rectal prolapse, vitamin A deficiency, mechanical damage to the sign of the host. Prevention, prevention, which includes the health education and specific protection. In the prevention, it involves ingesting soil that may be contaminated with feces, including where human fecal matter, night soil, or the wastewater is used to fertilize crops. Wash your hands with water and warm water and soap before handling food. Teach children the importance of washing hands to prevent infection. Wash, peel, or cook all the raw vegetables and fruits before eating, particularly those that have been grown in the soil and that has been fertilized with manure. Specific protection, no vaccine available till now. Secondary prevention, which includes the diagnosis, Tricurus tricura eggs are detected in the stool examinations. Eggs will appear balanced and unembryonated, having bipolar plugs and the smooth shell. Treatment includes the albendazole 400 mg once and albendazole 100 mg BD for three days. It is the Pakistan's first nationwide soil transmitted helmet service determining the int intensity and the prevalence of the worm infections. WHO classifies Pakistan as the high burden priority for the soil transmitted helmet based on the best available data, which has come from small scale surveys. To conduct this survey, we use a microscope based technique called the CATOCATS to analyze the stool samples, counting the numbers and types of the worms eggs to determine the prevalence and the intensity. Here's a research article on the uh, vaccination against the Ascaris. It includes a protective immunity elicited by the nematode conserved Ascaris 37 recombinant protein against the Ascaris sum infection. Ascaris 37 is an immunodominant antigen exposed to the human host, immune host system that induces strong immune responses during the natural infection. It suggests that the nematode conserved Ascaris 37 would be developed as a vaccine antigen to prevent all soil sanitary helminthes infection without reacting with the human immunoglobulin molecules. A pan helminthic vaccine is the ultimate goal to prevent and control the STH infections in co endemic areas, and Ascaris 37 would be a promising candidate towards this goal. Is, there is another research article on the vaccination with chimeric protein induces protection in the murine model against Xeris. According to this research article, the construction of the chimeric protein leads to the enhanced immune protection against the Xeris infection. Vaccination with the chimeric protein induced greater than 70% reduction in the larval load after challenge. Vac vaccine protection is associated with IgG response and reduced lung inflammation con compared to controls. Research article on based on the oral vaccine against the hookworm infection. The vaccine, uh, the hum, human hookworm indicator in Americans is the parasite that infects about half a billion people worldwide and the treatment is available. The vaccination is available to combat the spread of this parasite due to its wide distribution and the continuous reinfection cycles in the endemic countries. 
The vaccine candidates are evaluated in the rodent hookworm challenge model, resulting in up to 98 to 99 percent decrease in the mean intestinal worm and egg burdens in immunized mice, respectively. Now the global trends. WHO estimates that over 1.5 billion people are infected globally with STHs, with 835 million children in need of treatment. National trend here is a map which shows the distribution of the helminthic infections, the weighted prevalence of all the soil transmitted helminthes. We show uh, in the red and dark orange color, we show the high prevalence about 56% and the medium in light orange colors with about 26% and the low in yellow color, about 0% prevalence of the soil transmitted helminthes. Here is a map which shows the distribution of the helminthes infections prevalence about in Punjab, which shows the high prevalence in Pindi and, uh, and low medium prevalence and prevalence in the Atak, Chitral, and uh, I'm very uh, having zero prevalence in the other uh, other cities of the Punjab. Here are the references of this presentation. Now the MCQ section. In the life cycle of the scarlet lumbricides, intermediate host is yes, man. Lifespan of the scarlet is six months, one to two years, greater than thirty days, and eight to ten months. B one to two years. The most commonly infected sites by the curious cura. Yes. The infected stage of Tricura Secura is ambulated act, unambulated act, adult form, and the two stages. Yes, it's the ambulated act. Unambulated act is the un, uh, not infected stage of that. Which disease is caused by the soil transmitted helminthes? MEBSC, leprosy, polymyelitis. Yes. 13 years old boy was brought to the emergency with a prolapsed rectum. Examination of the rectum reveals small worm that resembles a whip like structure attached to the mucosa. Which of the following is the most likely the cause? Scaris, yes. yes. Because worm like, uh, whip like uh, structure is of stricure stricure and it will lead to the prolapsed rectum. Hookworm infections due to the deficiency of vitamin B12, A, iron, and folic acid. Iron. Yes, it leads to iron deficiency anemia. Which is group is particularly affected by the scaries 3 to 8 years? Yes. Yeah. Hookworm yeah. 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 of the following products are infected persons, sweats, fish, and urine, and the saliva. Standard diagnostic of the scaries is PCR, serology. The identification of accents. Lifespan of his limbicoid is six months, one to two years, greater than 30 days, and 18 months. Yes. Most infected sites by the curious curious to say it's the unrelated act. Which disease is caused by the soil transmitted helminths? The MBSC is the process. 13 years old boy from India was brought to the emergency with poor lapsed rectum. In the examination of the rectum, reveals the small worm which examples the whip like structures attached to the mucosa. Curia Hookworm infection is the recurrence of the iron. Which age group is particularly affected by the scarlet lumbricoid? Yes. Most common in the children. Hookworm eggs are present in part of the products in the B. Standard diagnosis for the scarlet is PCR serology, identification of the disease. Here are the and thank you. Thank you very much for an extensive presentation. Soil transmitted infections are caused by parasitic worms. They are transmitted by eggs present in human feces, which contaminate soil uh, in areas where sanitation is poor. 1.5 billion people are infected worldwide, as Pakistan has high burden of soil transmitted helminths. Uh, periodic deworming and improved sanitation are the best strategies to control the soil transmitted infections. My question is, 
Uh, as a uh, high risk chemotherapy is given for prevention of soil transmitted infections, so who are at high risk and they, uh, who uh, should be given preventive chemotherapy?